Thank you, Chair Traeger. I uh, love all of your questions and uh, may try to follow up, but uh, you are spot on. Uh, the pre-K deadline is March 30th for children born in 2014. If you are watching with an eligible child, please apply. I appreciate the 234 seats opening this September and 180 seats set to open in 2019, which will bring my district to, I believe, around 900 seats for four-year-olds. However, in Community District 8 for the Upper East Side, the DOHMH, Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, Natality by Community District of Residents, New York City reports 2,577 live births in 2015. Does SCA see new need for pre-K and 3K seats in the district, which would need to start now working on? I'm gonna ask a bunch of questions, and if you can just take the notes on that. Sure. So that's the first question. In 2016, in my school, District 2, Gifted and Talented exam had 615 eligible students who applied, but only 346 received offers, turning away nearly half of applicants for a total of 306 preschoolers. Will SCA build or add more GNT capacity? In 2017, Mayor de Blasio announced Universal Physical Education Initiative to provide all schools with designated PE space by 2021 with a whopping $491 million in funding. Sadly, schools in my district were omitted from my, the list, and I brought this to the mayor's office and SCA after the announcement to no avail. When the mayor sought a gym to hold his town hall, he learned firsthand that we don't have many gyms in the district and eventually settled for one of the small gyms in the district with an overfill room. I brought private schools building field houses in the district to DOE and SCA to make space available to students. Does DOE and SCA agree that we need uh, we have a need for gyms in the district, and will DOE and SCA build a field house for schools as well as lease existing spaces? Uh, the next question is, it is uh, public school auction season, and wherever I go, parents are fearful about the next act of school violence. And they're asking for security cameras and access control for every school. SCA has provided IP DVS security cameras for 1,123 schools in 710 buildings and is only funding an additional 17 schools this coming year. How are schools prioritized? Why have my schools been omitted? And how much to roll out security cameras in every school building? And then just to follow along what the chair brought to light, 100 megabits to school buildings is embarrassing. Uh, I have 400 megabits at home and I am a single user paying much less than the city is paying. Uh, gigabit came out in 1998, 20 years ago. I personally wired SUNY Albany for fiber in 2002. Uh, will DOE sit down with uh, the chair, myself, Spectrum and Verizon to see if they can't do better because businesses can get it for 159 a month at 300 megabits through Spectrum right now. Thank you, council member. <laughs> there are a few questions in there, so let me try and, and go through what I can. Yes, we were very pleased to be able to provide those pre-K sites very recently in your district. Um, and we are continually working with the early learning group at DOE to see where the needs are for pre-K. Let's talk for a moment about 3K. 3K, as you mentioned, um, is rolling out a lot more slowly than the the UPK did. Um, and so the districts that are currently uh, being expanded for 3K uh, have existing seats. Um, over time, I'm sure we will be getting to District 2, and at that point in time, we'll make an assessment and see where, in fact, we need to find space. Um, we don't build space specifically for gifted and talented we build for those districts that have a need for additional seats. Um, and we're monitoring your district very, very closely. Um, as far as phys ed, we are aware of the issues having to do with your particular district, particularly on the Upper East Side. Um, actually working very, very closely with the students from Eleanor Roosevelt High School who are trying to, very hard to identify the space. I know that you have been involved working with private schools to see if we can do some kind of a joint project with them. We're happy to take on any idea that you have and explore it because it's very important to us as well. 
Um, well, did I miss something? Yes. Okay. IPBBS, Aloisi. During Aloisi Heredia Jarmashuk, DOE. So during the fiscal year 2015 to 2019 uh, capital plan, the DOE plans to continue the implementation of the internet protocol digital video surveillance. These are cameras that allow authorized personnel to view digital images of what is happening in the schools from their computers. Uh, as of February 2018, we have 710 buildings serving 1,123 schools with this equipment. So that's over 28,998 uh, cameras citywide. Um, there were updated standards that came out in July of 2015, so we're continuing to, on those upgrades, um, and that's what it looks like currently. When will my district get the cameras? It's a final question for first round. We'll have to come back to you mm -hmm. on that. I'm not sure. 